the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of the walking dead so what happened last episode after the aftermath of the whole barn incident okay after finding out sophia was in the barn after having to shoot her in the head what happened well drama <laughs> more drama okay just like i like it um Although, so I thought, I thought what was going to happen was we were going to see the group, um, you know, have like a divide, you know, some on Rick's side, some on Shane's side, but that isn't necessarily happening. Maybe not yet, but you can definitely see there are some difference in opinions. Some believe what Rick, what Rick's, you know, more, uh, more, you know, conservative way of doing things was better. Some actually think that Rick, that Shane's more aggressive style is better for the group. Um, and everyone has their valid opinion, right? But, um, here's the thing. Only, <laughs> Dale's kind of a genius. I don't know how he's, he's figured it out. But he has somehow figured out that Shane somehow used Otis for bait. Now, if everyone knew that, Shane's out. He's out of the group. Because at some point, even though we barely knew Otis, we know Shane only cares about Carl, Lori, and probably Rick. Rick's a bro. He's probably been Rick's best friend for about like 10 years on the force or some shit, right? So, but if you're not a Laurie, Carl, or Rick, Shane will do nothing. Uh, well, sorry. Shane will do everything to make sure that those three are okay. And, th and one of those things maybe push you in the way of some walkers. So you're walker baits while they run through. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say he won't do that? Because he definitely will. He will protect his own at, at, at any cost, you know, which honestly it's fucked up, but I can't blame him, you know, because I'm sure a lot of people feel, feel the same way. Um, a lot of people, I mean, honestly, like myself are very apathetic where they only really care about, uh, things that are close to them, you know? So I totally get what Shane's, what Shane's way of thinking. Honestly, his way of thinking is more relatable. Because I do think most people are like that, right? They will look out for their own more than they will look out for others that, that, that they barely meet, okay? But, you know, um, that, isn't, that isn't necessarily what the group, uh, what the group's leader needs, okay? If, if they want to uh, have any longevity, I feel like in this zombie apocalypse, we have to have a leader that's, uh, that knows like a good balance all right like i said if if we can find someone who's a mix between you know rick and shane that'd be the perfect person a person who knows when to be aggressive when to go in for the kill and a person who knows when to pull back and reflect and figure a situation okay so um yeah I'm, I'm honestly enjoying the back and forth that's going on between rick and shane it's very entertaining um, what else happened last episode? I believe Maggie is, uh, so I, I, I didn't know this, but Maggie is a fast faller. She is straight up told Glenn that she loves him. And by the look on her face and by the way she's been acting, I think she really means it. And of course, adorable little Glenn didn't know how to act because that's the first time a girl ever told him that. <laughs> I thought that was, I, I thought that was really cute. Right. And, um, yeah, th honestly, they the, them, uh, forming like this relationship is kind of a, a breath of fresh air in the whole fucked up grand scheme of things with the zombie apocalypse and all the drama so seeing them forming like some kind of a love bond is kind of nice it's kind of nice you know what i mean and um i believe the last thing that happened last episode was rick catching a couple bodies you know with no hesitation too not only did he, did he not let those guys come to come back to the farm with them which is i was a little I, I was a little surprised on then again those guys did seem a bit sketch you know uh, you don't really you don't really piss in front of people you just meet that's just kind of weird you know what i'm saying uh, even if it's a zombie apocalypse um and you know they pulled their weapon but rick being sure sure of grams you know had to take him out bang bang it was quick and um you know the look on rick's face afterwards wasn't like a scared look either it was like yeah don't fuck with me because i'm gonna fuck with you type of thing and with that he protected hirsch and glenn you know what i mean so so yeah it's not that um it's not that i think rick is soft because he's definitely not soft it's just um i honestly rick is right in the sense when he's trying to take it slow with um 
with Herschel because he can tell Herschel's actually one of the good guys. Whereas these two dudes that he just met, that he just killed, were clearly, you know, not of the same cloth. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's where we are. Also, one of the girls is sick um, that was living on the farm. And so we, we definitely need Herschel to come to... Oh, dude, I, I almost forgot. Lori got in a fucking car accident. Is she okay? We don't even know if she's okay or not. I think she's okay. They wouldn't kill her just off camera like that, right? So I I think she's okay. I, I She's probably a little bit banged up. But dude, what was that accident? First of all, what the fuck is she doing driving out alone? Prego. Like, just wait. Rick and Glenn will handle it, bitch. Okay? They'll come back with them. They'll come back with her. She'll be just fine. Okay? And I mean, <laughs> there was one walker. There was one walker and she was driving. Why did <laughs> she turned and the car flipped? What the fuck? <laughs> That's just... I know it's been a while since she drove a car because it's a zombie apocalypse, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I know, I shouldn't be laughing because it's fucked up because she's, she's probably super hurt and maybe, you know, and we got to look out for the baby, but Jesus Christ, what the hell, man? That was just totally, that could have been so avoided. It could have been so avoided, but I don't know. Maybe it was added in for some drama for the show. I get it, but Jesus, Lori, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> anyway, let's go and get into the episode though, guys. Uh, before we do though, uh, if y'all want early access to these reactions, I am ahead. Uh, if you click that join button and become a member, I'm also ahead on Patreon and on Patreon, there's also the full versions. So click on those two links if you're interested in those. Uh, and of course, last but not least, if you want to join our community, you can hit up our discord server. All right. Other than that, let's get into it. The Walking Dead season two, episode eight. No, episode nine. Make sure I like and subscribe. Oh, Lori, you alive? She's alive. At least she's alive. Thank God. <laughs> there's a walker. There's a walker clinging at her windows. She seems pretty banged up, but she is alive. Damn it, Lori. What are you thinking? <laughs> Get your ass up, Lori. Fuck. It had to be done. Let's head back. It had to be done. We have no qualms. And honestly, after this situation, I think Hirsch is going to let us stay. He, Rick just saved us. Dave? Tony? I said, okay. Tony, man, I heard shots. I saw one with two, three souls. There might be more around here. It's hot. We got to get out of here. Okay. Get off city. You want to attract him? Shit, there's more dudes. Oh, damn. They actually had a crew. Ooh, don't tell me we gotta kill them too. I don't know. We can't just keep bodying people, can we? I mean, at some point, we gotta kick his face. Kick his goddamn face, Lori. Oh, where's that gun? Did she have a gun with her? Oh, shit. He grabbing that hair. Ooh. Nice. Well done. We know she can handle walkers. She just can't handle a car. <laughs> no, another one. Fuck. Yeah, you're going to need that. Nice. Okay, she survives. Thank fucking God, man. Now what? <laughs> She's in the middle of nowhere. That's a bold move, Glenn. You think Glenn did that so so Rick wouldn't have to kill anyone? I think so. I fuck with that. We can't keep just murdering dudes, honestly. That's fucked. That's fucked, bro. I get it. This is a zombie apocalypse, but damn. 
This is true. They drew first. We wish we did. They drew on us first. But it's like that now. You know that. So let's just chalk this up to what it was. Wrong place. Wrong place. Oh, okay. They don't give a fuck. All right. Well, we tried to talk. We tried to talk no jutsu. It ain't gonna work. So time for some, uh... <laughs> Oh shit. I'm all right, I'm all right. Yo. <laughs> Was Glenn a. Wasn't he a pizza delivery boy? This man went from a pizza delivery boy to zombie apocalypse becoming freaking, you know. Uh, a scavenger for the group, becoming the group scavenger, okay, becoming the number two to Rick, or so it seems like, um, you know, one of the go-to guys, and now he's over here <laughs> getting in gun, 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 gunshot fights. What the fuck? Oh shit! Okay, Hirsch. Oh yeah, he's a good shot. We definitely need to keep him around. Be fired. He's a good shot and becoming a doctor. One of our doctors. No, he hit Glenn? I didn't even peep that. Glenn? Thank God. He's just scurred. I'd be too, brother. <laughs> I don't blame him. He got a man up though, big dog. Oh no! I gotta go. I'm oh, he, and his friend's leaving him. What? What do you? Why would you jump that high, stupid? Fucking grab onto a pole or some shit and slide down. What? Are you you know, part of, a little part of me wants to test myself in a zombie apocalypse. How far would I make it? <laughs> Sorry, brother. Oh. Yeah, that's not. Yep. Mm -mm. That right there. That's uh that's never gonna get old. No matter how deep I'm in this show. As long as if I if I ever see a fucking zombie eat someone's face off, that's that's that'll always be that'll always make me whinge. Oh fuck. Is that through the kneecap? Bro. That's bad if that's through the kneecap. I mean it's already bad enough if it's through the leg, but if that's through the knee, nah, he's nah, we, I'm sorry. I don't want to see any more killing, but this is cruel. Can't we just take the leg off? <laughs> that hatch is still in the car. What? Don't, don't, don't cut my leg off, please. Please, not. Let's cut through the bone. There is no way we're doing this. Why? We don't even know this dude. I. Okay. Yes. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Maybe it's noble. But what the fuck? We just murdered a couple, three dudes from this guy's, you know, group. Okay. Now we're about to cut off his leg. Meaning he's going to require heavy doctor assistance. Am I a bad person for thinking we just, we should just, you know, ah, I don't know. This is, this, this is terrible. Honestly, if I'm the dude, I'm just, just kill me. Don't cut off my goddamn leg. Just kill me, bro. Like, fuck. What the fuck? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Y'all ever watch that, um, what's that movie? 127 Hours? With, with, uh, James Franco? He went, uh, he went rock, rock climbing or some shit? And he had to, I, sh I guess I shouldn't spoil it, but, yeah. If you watch that movie, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 we hey. gotta find Rick. He's back. They're all back. They're all safe and sound. Really? Yeah. Wait. Oh, God. Shane? Didn't we learn from the whole lying bit? I get it, though. He's doing that to make sure, sure she's safe. But he's gotta stop lying, man. 
It's not gonna. It's not good. <laughs> God damn it, Shane. You're afraid. You're afraid because you're all alone. You got no husband. No daughter. You don't know what to do with yourself. And you ain't my problem. Sophia wasn't mine. All you had to do was keep an eye on her. Damn. Okay, I gotta say, these two are amazing. Holy fuck. Every, dude, what is this? They're definitely top tier actors. What the hell? That shit made me feel like super immersed and intense. Well done. Wow. Daryl and Carol. Lord. Hey, Lord, I, Lord, I will go Lord. after him. I will find him. Hey. Look, first things first, I gotta, I gotta look after you. I gotta make sure the baby's all right, okay? Ooh. Having a baby? Oh, <gasps> he didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell him? I totally forgot to. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we should have told Carl. But also Shane saying that line, I gotta protect you and the baby. It hits different when we know what's really going on. You know? True. He, he shaved and everything. I don't know what happened with Otis. What happened with Otis happened because I love you. Oh, there it goes. I love you and I love Carl. That's what I told Rick. Oh, that's right. That Rick and Shane conversation hasn't happened yet. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> Just for a second, what you, what you felt? Everything falling apart all around us, but it. It's one side. It was the one good thing. This feels one-sided. You know it's true. Or maybe not. She's not saying shit. Yeah, you better feel bad. <laughs> that was too soon. What are you guys what are you thinking? Shame. Shame. And with Shane at the helm, I wouldn't be too sure. He's lost people before. And he's had my back. What are you insinuating? He doesn't want Rick back. Or Herschel. With them gone, he's got everything he wants and no one to tell him otherwise. Shane has done more to keep this group alive than anybody. That's a good argument. I don't know. Well, the thing is, I don't know what Shane did before Rick came. Right? So that's kind of an unfair argument because Shane has been in the group longer. But, you know, it's true. Also, the problem with... So here's the thing. Dale is right, but he's, he's, he's going on assumptions, though. He doesn't have proof or confirmation that he actually did kill Otis. He is right, but all his actions are, are like, you know, he's just assuming. And you shouldn't go on assumptions. You know what I mean? Okay. Patricia, prepare the shed for surgery. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Glenn, you giving her the cold shoulder? What was that? She's happy to see you, bud. <laughs> Look at this, folks. We back in fantasy land. You know, we haven't even dealt with what you did in my barn yet. <clears throat> Let me make this perfectly clear once and for all. This is my farm. Now, I wanted you gone. Rick talked me out of it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. So do us both a favor. Keep your mouth shut. Ooh. Tell him, Big Hirsch. <laughs> Pretty crazy decision, though, to bring a random dude with a fucked up leg back at camp that we got to take care of. It's a pretty cool, pretty crazy decision. Me hurting it. And I couldn't take it, so I hid to stay alive. Oh, no, no, no. No, you, you don't get it. That's pretty, Rick, that, that's pretty dad, cute. They were counting on me, and I, I only thought of myself. Oh, so what is that? He's breaking up with her? We'll call that an, an emotionally charged response. But I think he's going to get over it. That was kind of adorable what he said, though. <laughs> Come on, Glenn. I'll give her a sedative to stop her body from working too hard. You're drinking. That was the least of my worries. You left and I didn't know what to do.
Yo, why why is that why is that little girl staring so blankly into space? She just looks dead. <laughs> it's scaring me, honestly. Is she fucking possessed? If he finds his people and leads them here, we'll have a war on our hands. Then you preach to the choir, girl. You ever consider a lighter touch? Abandoning the search for Sophia, taking out the walkers in the barn, lying to Lori today. Those were all the right calls. It's your presentation that leaves something to be designed. She's got a point. That's a good point, actually. It's all about delivery. You know what I mean? The change just needs to be less aggressive, and it'll be all good, I think. I think you killed Lawrence. I think you left him behind, and I think... I think he did it not just to save Carl, but because he loves me. But you don't know that. And he thinks that we are supposed to be together, no matter what. He did kind of say that. She's not wrong. Yeah, Shane's losing it. <laughs> God damn it. And it sucks because I do kind of agree with some of the things he's doing. Just his delivery and his aggression is just, it's fucking it up. And of course, his uh, low key psychotic mindset. <laughs> you killed the living to protect what's yours? That's right. Shane thinks I'm his. He thinks the Oh. And he says you can't protect him. That you're gonna get us killed. Oh, damn. Well, when Lori puts it like that. <laughs> First of all, that was cool. The way she did that. Now it sets up this whole drama thing. But in a way, she's like instigating. <laughs> now she's like provoking a Shane and Rick fight. She's, she's, she wants a 1v1 to go down between her two lovers. <laughs> uh, Okay. <clears throat> Well, damn. Another solid, decent episode of TWD. Not bad. Uh, all right, so let's go over. Um, so yeah, first that whole fucking thing with those dudes. So those those two dudes that Rick killed, they had it. They had a group. They came, um, and one of them jumped off a roof, fucking landed his leg on the worst fence. Those stupid spiky fences. I hated those when I was a kid. I fucking hated those. Um, and there was two choices one we, we 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 put him out of his misery you know we, we we just we kill him right then and there you know we don't have him get eat, eaten by walkers and we call it a day or the second choice uh the much more riskier choice but i guess is the right humane thing to do is to is to take his leg off and uh heal him and use our resources to do that and then send him on his on his way after we're done healing him um with the possibility of him coming back with a whole new group and taking all our shit um yeah listen i know it sounds messed up but i would just left him there i would have asked him i would have gave him a gun you know to, to to let him handle the situation if you want to do it on his own you know or if you want to handle the walkers or whatever whatever but there's no way I would have took him back. We don't know this dude. We don't have any detachment to this guy, right? If we killed his other friends, then why the fuck are we taking him back? I don't know. Maybe Rick, I guess Rick is just a much better person than I am. But dude, that was, that, that's definitely very risky. But again, Shane, I think was right in that. But his, his, I mean, um, Andrea put it, put it, put it the best way. His, his delivery on the way he, he he's his do, he's doing stuff is he's just too aggro man he's too macho macho libre you know what i'm saying um and i i, I mean Lori at the end there put it perfect she, she she looked like a freaking siren whispering into uh like like rick's conscious whispering into his ear and now uh rick's about to go aggro on shane <laughs> that 1v1 is gonna happen and that's gonna be i can't wait for that to happen that's gonna be awesome two fucking cops going at it um and then oh we have the whole we have the whole glenn oh we have the uh, first we should talk about the daryl and carol interaction so normally the daryl and carol interactions are wholesome and very nice and very feels this one was uh pretty intense okay um but i feel like so we had daryl talking that whole scene and we had carol just reacting with her eyes and her face and i think both of them were doing i don't know the, i don't know who the, the, those actors are but they were doing a really good job 
at just you know Daryl portraying or projecting. He was project. He, he he was portraying a projected person, just screaming out stuff and seeing how and just saying that what he really feels and then blaming it on her. And then Carol, um, the actor that was playing Carol, was just reacting. Just I don't know. Just it felt like a masterful way using her eyes and her face only, not even just saying anything back. It was I don't know. It was it was amazing. Okay, so. Probably the reason why I like the Daryl and Carol interaction so much is because the actors are just so damn good with it. And it's fucking awesome. I love that shit, right? Um, and then we should talk about Maggie and Glenn. Uh, so, uh, first of all, that was definitely adorable. The way the way Glenn said it, you know. Um, <clears throat> but he's, I mean, yeah, he has, he's got a point. I, I think now he's just, he's 100% scared of commitment because um, uh, now the feeling of loss will will be real on both sides if glenn dies boom on maggie if maggie dies boom on him right and i guess he doesn't want that that's fair but that's something that he'll definitely he has to get over and he definitely will get over it to give him a couple days right so maggie doesn't have to worry about that um but anyway <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> solid there's something there solid episode solid reaction can't wait to watch the next one next episode all right cool anyway that's gonna be it for this one hey before i leave make sure you guys look at all the links down below in the description if you want early access to these reactions you can go ahead and click that join button if you want early access to the full versions you can hit up my patreon link and of course last but not least if you want to join our community you can hit up our discord server all those links down below in the description all right <laughs> other than that i'm out of here y'all have a good one and i will see y'all for the next episode of the walking dead